We're gonna have to just put it on when we close the door. Exactly. He's going to grab it. If we put this on, then it's over. Six locations this past weekend, which is pretty big for an MCM shoot. This particular film was kind of interesting because we had so much time for pre-production, so we would met like a lot. I remember like especially within the last two weeks, like Zach would be over at our house, like very like, a lot of late nights, yeah, just, yeah. Uh, just every night. Just, yeah, pretty much every night, and it was just so fun because we would just <laughs> we'd, we'd come up with an idea for a shot, we'd just talk about it, and we'd be like we would just be jumping up and down pretty much just because we're like this high five and because like yes we figured out how we're going to shoot this whole scene and this is going to it's just going to it's just going to work so well and yeah, I agree with Paige just like the trust that we put in Zach is just yeah I I I trust Zach and I think showing up on the first location and then seeing the rain I was, I was already stressed out well it's raining right now and that's not good it is not vital and uh I'm a little peeved. We're having a camera toga party. Everyone look at Brayden's lame poncho that he's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulder pads. You know, you got the slim fitting sides. You got the little doohickeys in the front for a little flap. Got the V-neck front. I'm serious. You got these little knots in the side for like... The trash bags? Would you like, would you like No. Oh. It is a poncho. <laughs> Don't even tempt me to go make pants. <laughs> Whenever you make a film, it's an evolutionary process. You don't just, mm -hmm. the finished product isn't at all the starting point. You end up somewhere, hopefully for the better, of what you originally thought your film could be. And I think that's the direction that the film's going, and I think that's awesome. I'm happy. You have five yeah. I just can't let everybody know you. No. <laughs> I'm upset! I'm very upset! Not so <laughs> much. <laughs> Stuff. Yeah, you can <laughs> call it a crime movie. I really enjoy it. Don't film this. <laughs> so I think Sean and I, we knew what to expect, but we didn't know what to expect. Five minute warning! Huh? Five minutes. Okay. So I think uh, having two of us there, Sean and I trusted each other to distribute the different responsibilities on set. We would mainly like take one character. He works specific, uh, specifically with John Leip, our uh, actor for Ray, and I'd work with Bennett Fan, our actor for Jack. I play Jack, who is a sort of a teenager who finds himself in the wrong spots at the wrong time. And Ray is kind of like my older self. And eventually, he, he just tries to save me from this life that I, I'm like I'm going towards because I have a daughter, and he obviously doesn't want me to lose that. So you know, he drops me off. He got me off a place where I can be safe. The, the first thing I thought of that I thought would give Jack a little bit more depth is if he had a kid. I'm the only parent or you know father figure that she has or like only adult figure. So getting ready to see her once again makes me really happy. But at the same time, I'm really upset that I'm such really an understatement, but I'm really upset that I'm gonna die. And I may never get to see her again because she's the last person I ever saw. So. Um, I just really have to get into the mood of, you know, dying and never seeing my like, little girl ever again. The main theme of Saints Avenue is repentance. Um, and not repentance based on confession, but repentance based on action. Um, because Ray's sacrifice for Jack is well, as a decision made out, of, made out of love, but concerning morality, he was hoping to repent from, from his perceived flaws of, of this. Just wraps uh, for principal photography on our shoot, and now everyone's backing up. We're gonna go home. It's been a great two days for them. and cast, of course. It's been awesome. Hey, buddy. Yeah.
I'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> Goal one was learning. You know, and I think I think I learned a lot. And that's really what this sounds like propaganda, but that's why MCM is I think loved by everyone is that it creates an environment where you can go out and actually do stuff and learn and there's not a lot, I mean there's pressure, but it's not there's not a lot of pressure. Yeah. So it's kinda like kinda like a, a filmmaker's sandbox, you know, to play in. So I had a lot of fun playing in this seminars. Okay, have a moment yeah. of silence for the homework hours lost during <laughs> oh, the set. Same.